Swinburne University of Technology. Hi and welcome to Swinburne Codecasts. I'm Andrew Kane. And I'm Cliff. And in this video, we'll be looking at adding parameters to procedures. So far, our programs have been able to have procedures that perform tasks, but they're always sort of a fixed task. The same actions are always performed. Yeah, wouldn't it be great if we could pass data to the procedures to allow those procedures to have some flexibility? Well, Cliff, the great thing is we can use parameters to pass data into our procedures. Oh, cool. I've got this program here, and uh, it's, well, I quite like it. It draws, a, it draws a smiley face emoji on the screen. Yep. And um, at the moment, it's, uh, it's really cool. I, I have learned so far that I should be using a procedure for it, so I made a procedure just for it. Yep. And as you can see in the code here, like, I've, I've called it two times, uh, but there's only one smiley appearing on the screen. Okay, well, I mean, I think the start of our problem is if we look at your draw smiley... Uh, procedure, we've got a lot of uh, sort of magical numbers there. Are, that, are they good? Do they uh, do magic no. for us? No, they're not good. Oh, uh, So they're magic uh. because I have no idea what they mean. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, so what we should probably do is, and if you want to change things, we can't have them literally typed into the code. So these are literal values. Okay. Meaning yeah. it's always the number 300. If you want the number to change, you could use, of course, a... Ah, oh, variables. Yes. Okay, okay. So, but that still doesn't, exp I still don't understand why there's only one smiley on the screen though. Like, I'm, I'm clearly drawing it twice. Where's the other one? Well, they're both drawn at exactly the same place. Oh, okay. So there's just one on top of the other. Okay, okay. Yeah, so they're both there. You just All right, can't so, see them. So looking at the draw smiley procedure here, I've got a couple of these numbers that I think I can replace with local variables within the procedure. Yep, all right. Um, so something like this, like I, I know that, uh, I'm giving it the, the center position for the circles because it's basically just a whole bunch of circles drawn over the top of each other. Okay, all centered at a location That's on the right. screen. That's right, yeah. So I've, I've made here uh, the center X and center Y values so I can try and arrange the, the pictures around that. Yep. But it's still only drawing one smiley. Yeah, well, because they're always at 300, 300. So this is where... Uh, we could use parameters. So at the moment, center X and center Y are local variables, so they exist only inside of draw smiley. And so when draw smiley starts, it creates those variables. Okay, yep. Uh, which is good because mostly things should be local variables like that. But in this case, what you actually want to do is have main tell draw smiley what the values for center X and center Y should be. Okay. So instead of always being 300, 300, main could pass in uh, different values. Okay. It's actually really simple to do. What we can do is move these variable declarations here mm. into the brackets at the top of the uh, declaration okay. of the procedure. So, and so that effectively makes them parameters. Those brackets there uh, are where we place parameters. And they're just variables that have this special property that they are provided a value when the procedure is called. So are they still considered local variables for the procedure? Well, they're now parameters. Okay. okay and cool. parameters are local to the procedure. Yep. But they're special. They're slightly more special. So a parameter is a local variable, but one that has a, its value provided in the procedure call. So when okay. we execute the procedure call now, down the bottom here, we also have to change uh, the way we call draw smiley. So draw smiley now says you must give me two pieces of information. You have okay, to give yeah. me center X and center Y. Okay. So, yeah, before, even though there were variables, I was still setting it as the one value, but now here using this, I can set each of those variables in the procedure call. That's correct. Yeah. So, where you call draw smiley down here, uh, it passes up now the value, say, one, 150 and 300 would yep. be passed into, so 150 would be assigned to. Center X, yeah. 300 would be assigned to center Y. Okay, and so then that it, call executes with those parameter values. Does it just do it in the order that we've written it in draw smile? Yeah, it's the order. Okay, okay, cool. Other languages have other features, but most languages, it's just purely uh, order based. Some have name based, but. Okay. Look, if you deal with this first, <laughs> later on, other, other, other right. languages have Okay, so features. I want two smileys next to each other. Yep, so the way we can call that. 
uh, is just to call draw smiley twice and yep. pass in different parameter values. So the second time, uh, the procedure would have have different values. Okay. And of course, this means that we could have, we could draw as many smileys as you want. So we could draw a smiley here, or here, or here, or here. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Etc. So it really you can draw smileys pretty much anywhere you want to. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That that that's awesome. Um. What if I wanted to change the size of the, the picture? Okay, well then this would just be another, what would it be? Another, you can, you can add parameters for that? Yeah, well you can have as many parameters as you want. So if, I mean, let's have a look here. You've got, for example, clear screen. When you call clear screen, it must have a parameter because you're passing in a value for what color you want it to clear. Okay, yep, yep. Where you've yep. got open graphics window, you're passing in three values, so those three values are going into three parameters. And notice they're different types. A yeah, string yeah, yeah. and two integers. Fill circle is taking in a color. So, so to I, three in three values, you know, the this and center x, center y and the radius. So you can have as many as you want. So Obviously I, so don't I've want to be using crazy, these all along yeah. and just not really knowing how Correct. how they worked. That's right. Well, oh, now that's... we can actually use it ourselves. Ah, oh, awesome. Awesome. So what I could do is add like a, a size parameter. That would be the, the diameter of the face. Yep. Yep. Um, oh, but in the, in the procedure, I've always used the radius to, to calculate things when I've been doing the math on, when I've been hand executing it on a piece of paper. Yep. Um, can we have local variables as well as parameters? Yeah, definitely. So we could add in a third size parameter. Yep. And then you could add, say, your radius as a local variable. So the, lo the, the calling procedure, or whatever's calling this code, would only need to provide three values. And then you can calculate any number of other values that you want in order to, to get this to work. Okay, okay, um, cool. Well, here I've got the, the local variable radius. It's, it's using the size parameter to yep. calculate that value, yep. which is all cool. Uh, it's working perfectly for, for 300. I've gotten rid of a whole lot of these magic numbers here, yeah. um, which is great. But but now when I've when I've sent a smaller size, it's it's still gone wonky. That just means your calculations are wrong. So there's no real okay. extra feature here. It's just a matter of sitting down and working out what those magic numbers represent, creating variables for them, yep. and then calculating those values. Okay. So I'll let you get to work on that, Cliff. Okay, well, let me just... Yeah, I've got this picture here that I've been referring to. So, yeah. all right, I think I've got it. Um, so that was I've, very I've, quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, <laughs> what, what can I say? I, I work fast. <laughs> um, I've made I've made a bunch of a bunch of new um, local variables. Yep. So all the things are scaling really, really nicely. Yep. Um, and as you can see here, I can. Yeah. So you've got your you've got three parameters. You're also able to have a whole bunch of local variables. You can calculate values using the parameters that you've got. You can also calculate other values using local variables or parameters or a mm -hmm. combination, mm -hmm. and you can pass those into other procedures that you call as well zero magic numbers looks good well yeah oh well, you still got two three and six but that okay are they allowable I'll accept those okay. yeah, they're, they're, that's not too bad okay cool okay cliff did you want to quickly run us through how this works maybe just for a couple of the draw smileys yeah sure thing andrew um so we begin at main and we first open a graphics window and load the default colors and clear the screen to white Yep. So each of those are procedure calls. Yep. yep. Whenever I'm making a swing game program, they're usually the first three things in there. Yeah. yeah. And then we when then we call draw smiley. So we see here that I'm passing in the parameters uh, 150, 300, and 300. Yep. So they're being stored in the uh, center x, center y, and size parameters. parameters. Yep. Yeah. And so this is this is the bit that we're actually showing on. That's here, right, really, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so they're all integers, all so, of those numbers have been stored in there. Yeah, and this is, it's just like three assignment statements, isn't it? Assign this value to that parameter, assign this value to that parameter, assign this value yeah. to that parameter. So, so long as you get the order and the types correct, yeah. then everything's It'll gonna be, be sweet. Um, inside the, the draw smiley procedure, first we've got the local declarations. Yep. So, so we've, got, we've got all those parameters already, and that's why they're a bit special, because they got provided with those values to begin by with. The, the calling procedure. Yep. Yeah, and, and then, then it goes ahead and creates. Yep, cre I've created space for uh, radius, eye offset, eye size, smile scale, and smile offset. They're all integers as well. Yep. Um, the procedure be begins. Begins. <laughs> and um, and I just do some some basic calculations to to scale the thing, you know, based yep. on my original model. Um, 
So here yeah. I've got... So size yep. divided by two? Yep, so uh, size was... 300. And so that would make radius 150. Yep. We store, yeah, so we store 150 in, in radius. radius. That's right, yep. Um, once again, we, we read radius, divide that by three, and store the answer 50 in I offset. Yep. Read radius again. As you can see, this is why I needed a radius. You know, I've used it over <laughs> yeah, and yeah, over. Yeah. Yep, so divide that by six, store 25 in I size. Actually, smile scale and I size end up being the same number, but I made local variables to keep myself sane here. Yeah. Um, just the fact that they're both 25 necessarily mean that would always be the case, depending on the the way you want the to face that you're drawing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Um, uh, coincidence, I think. Yep. Um, here we've got. Uh, I I tried to to scale it using a a, a decimal number, seven point five, and it wasn't working, and so. Uh, yeah, so the problem here is when you divide the integer by 7.5, which is a real number, yep. uh, it gives you back a, uh, a real number and you can't store that in an integer. So it could be something with a point two five or point something yep. attached to it. And so what you have to do is actually uh, convert that into an integer and there's a number of different ways that you can do that. So I've calculated that value and, I, and I've stored it in the smile offset. Yep. So then leading on to the actual drawing of the picture, we've got yep. um, a call to fill circle. It takes in yellow. It takes the original parameters that were passed, the center X and center Y, and yep. the radius. So that's our 150, 300, and then 300. 300 the, again. Yeah. Yep, yep. And so that, that draws the, the actual body of the face, the head, I yep. guess. Um, we call draw circle, Yep. this time using color black to give so it that's the outline. That's the outline, yep. Um, same spots. Yeah. Once so again, the same the same parameters that were passed in. So we read the value from center x, we read the value right. from center y, and we read the value from radius, yep. which is your local variable. Yep. And then we move on to, to the smile. Now, I got pretty clever with this. This is like two circles overlapping, one, yep. of, the, one of them the background color and one of them the foreground color. Yep. Um, here we've got a fill circle. Once again, we're reading the values of center x, center y, and I've scaled this smile using radius minus the smile scale. Okay. So that, that should keep it all looking correct again, unlike yep. the wonky one. Yep. Um, fill circle here, this is the one that makes it so it looks like um, a crescent, I suppose. Oh, okay, yep. yep. I, I was quite pleased with the outcome of that. Once, yeah, it looks cool. <laughs> once again, using center X and center Y with an offset again, so that would be reading 150 and 300, yep. minusing, minusing that offset. So that's the thing that just moves that circle slightly up to give that crescent effect. Yep. Drawing the eyes here, we've just got two two black circles for either side. Yeah. Yep. So and you got different offsets for the eye position. Yep, that's yeah. right. Because if you remember in the in the wonky one, that was the thing that was sort of really noticeable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, just just having these uh, local variables has has solved that problem. Excellent. And so when this ends, we would go on to draw the other smileys, and so we would get those first two to appear, and we yep. can jump down here maybe where we call the draw smiley with the slightly smaller one. We'll just step through maybe the first few bits to see, so, so we can see how those new values are calculated. Yeah, sure. So in this case, the, the um, parameters that we're passing are 150 and 300, so that's um, the same x, y coordinates yep. again. So same center x, center y. Are that's right. But now 200's going into the size parameter. Yeah. So what that'll mean is basically, as soon as the um, procedure begins, begins again. We've got the radius <laughs> <What's> <laughs> <happened to> be <laughs> being divided by two. Previously, it was 150. Now, obviously, 200 um, divided yeah. by two is... 100. Oh, too good. <laughs> that's obviously... Store 100 in the radius, yeah. <laughs> yep, that's, that's going to change the rest of them because we're all relying on radius. So now, I offset's going to be storing 33. Yeah, because this is using integer division, one integer divided by another doesn't give you any uh, decimal places. So they're all... Yep. They're all Truncated, effectively, just being chopped off. Okay, now, do, yeah. so it will always go down if, yes. the, if there's a yeah, um, yeah, okay. just drops. Awesome. I'm sure Anything that will be handy that's not later. A whole number. Yeah. Yep. So, um, so yeah, eye size now is uh, is 200 divided by six, which is 16. Um, smile scale Ooh, is radius, so 100 divided by six, but yeah, 16. Ah, oh, yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Um, same again for for smile, and smile offset ends up being 13. Yeah. yeah, and so those values then go into those different drawing functions in order to make the picture appear the way that we want it to appear. Yeah, so the the smiles the 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 smileys will be in the same place, but they'll just be shrunk different. Down. Yeah, yeah, and the great thing is now we can of course draw uh, sort of any number of smileys 
to the screen of, of any size. Anywhere, yeah. Oh, yeah. Man, that is awesome. You'll have to show me how you did that effect one day. Okay. <laughs> Maybe next week. <laughs> All right. So that's it for for smileys, I was about to say. <laughs> <laughs> that's it for parameters. Parameters allow you to provide uh, data to your procedures uh, when that procedure is called. So it's a really, it's a super convenient way of, of making your procedures much more useful. Yeah, yeah. Um, I really like the flexibility of that. Yeah, um, yeah. What, uh, what's coming up next? Well, next we've got functions. Yep. So we can have a look at uh, procedures are one way. Of, you call a procedure to perform an action. A function allows you to actually calculate and return a value. Uh, we've also got the variables one, but hopefully you've, you've probably already checked that out. If you haven't seen the variables one, watch that now. Or watch it before now. Uh, try and watch it before back. now. Yep. Yeah. That would be <laughs> uh, otherwise, there's also next week, next or the next topics material, yep. uh, which is on control flow. So doing things in a loop, like, say, drawing a thousand smileys to the screen. Oh, cool. At cool. one time. Yep. Yeah. Oh, sounds like fun. Yeah. Well, that's it for parameters. I hope you enjoyed it, and we look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye. This has been a Spindle introduction. Thank you.